If you don't know how to do a cricothyroid anatomy, you should not be pushing paralytic medications for RSI. Welcome to day 11 of Crippets, and today we're talking about surgical airways. Well, sort of, we're talking about an opinion of surgical airways. And my hot take is that you should not be pushing paralytic medications for rapid sequence intubation unless you know how to do a surgical airway. As you might know, pushing paralytics allows easier first pass success. But first pass success isn't always possible, and sometimes a second pass is necessary. In between, you'll need to ventilate your patients to maintain oxygenation and ventilation. But what happens? happens when you go to ventilate that patient in between your attempts and you cannot ventilate. Perhaps they have an upper airway mass or they have edema of the cords. Are you just going to wait for that paralytic to wear off and wake the patient up? No, because when we make the decision to intubate our patients in the ICU or the ED, we have made the decision to place a definitive airway. We'd like to do it oratorically, but if you can't ventilate that person, you need to find another way. And cricothyroid may is the fastest and easiest way to gain access to that trachea in an emergency setting. And you might say, oh, I can just call anesthesia or ENT. Those answers are all wrong. When you're in that moment when the patient's desaturating and you can't ventilate, you have seconds to gain access to that airway. Calling somebody else to come bail you out is not good enough. If you're going to push paralytic medications, then you need to know how to do the surgical airway. Because if you're in that situation, it is you that needs to know how to do the surgical airway, not someone else. You might find this to be a controversial statement, and I'm interested to hear what you have to say in the comments. But if you don't believe in what I'm saying, then I need you to tell me what happens when you push paralytic medications and you cannot ventilate your patient. That's why I believe 